All right, so this video actually is coming because I haven't quite yet decided who I'm going to send after Naruto. Naruto is actually a tricky one because he doesn't scale that high. Like his tearing isn't crazy, but he has unique hacks that makes him formidable for characters like a little bit below his tier. So it makes the idea behind this video series really tricky with him. So taking a little more time just to pick the best team. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and take out a character very popular on my channel throughout the years. Of course, this is Lobo from DC Comics. If you haven't seen this series before, this is the Who Can Beat series. And basically, I review a character, any character in fiction. We're gonna go over how strong they are, what they bring to the table, and then I will tell you my three I would send to take Lobo out. Now, here's the deal. These three, it's questionable if they would win 1v1. However, I believe as a trio, they defeat Lobo. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you haven't already. In the video description is linked to the coffee shop members, fellow content creators. Make sure to check them out and hit the subscribe button. And with that being said, let's begin. Now, Lo who is Lobo? Lobo is an alien who actually completely eradicated his entire race when he um, came to be because he simply felt he should be unique among his own people. After committing this horrible, atrocious act against his own kind, he went on to become a well-known bounty hunter throughout all of space, uh, known as, of course, the formidable Lobo the Bastion. Now, Lobo, in terms of feats, most famously, he really came on the scene as the guy that was willing to literally like pull up on Superman and just throw hands whenever. This included uh, post-crisis Superman, who's no slouch, um, and it included literally Superman punching him at one point fully enraged to the moon, and Lobo just going like, okay, that kind of hurt. Um, on top of this, Lobo has taken on several other members of the Justice League. He's completely clowned Shazam. He's taken out multiple lanterns before in more recent runs he was able to take out red lanterns including atrocitus he's able to stand up to despero who has literally taken out uh, entire teams before he has a bike that allows him to dimensionally hop and travel mftl to infinite and even immeasurable speed uh, he can open up portals with this bike to other timelines and other time periods uh, a good example of this one time he opened up a portal and dropped a bomb that eradicated the dinosaurs. Lobo, once he comes into contact with you and does battle with you, he has a sense of who you are and he technically can track you throughout all the time and space after that. So if you encounter each other, he's got the lock on you. Um, on top of this, he carries weapons on him at all time. Even his most trash weapons, literally weapons he made out of trash, blow, blow apart stars casually. He has his chains as well that can catch the Flash, uh, can wrap up Shazam, Ragdoll, Superman, and her other characters of that tier. He can take on Reality Warpers, survive uh, Reality Warpers on at least a universal scale. They made their actual own universe and tried to subject Lobo to the fundamental laws of that universe, and they couldn't. He completely negged them. Uh, he, can, he has a high resistance to energy blasts and durability to blunt force trauma, the likes of Superman tier easily. He also has a high resistance to uh, telepathy, even shown at certain points to have better mental defenses than even other league members. And he has a famous ability. It got retconned at one point, but also did get bring, uh, brought back later down the line, where if he gets cut and sheds blood, it spawns another Lobo of similar power, and he could potentially jump you with an army of Lobos. Overall, Lobo is considered one of the most dangerous bounty hunters on a universal to multiversal scale. In DC, he has famously taken on the Justice League, including Superman, and is usually the guy hired to take on high-tier threats. Even at one point, he was hired to go take out Santa himself. So... We got Lobo out the way. We've seen he can keep up with Flash, Superman, can brawl with those types, bully Shazam, all this. Who would we send after the infamous bounty hunter? So first up on my team, 
I got the runner. If you don't know who the runner is, the runner comes from Marvel Comics. He's kind of obscure, but he's a being of enormous power and speed to the point that he encountered y'all's favorite jobber, Silver Surfer, aka Silver Jobber. And they fought. Surfer literally during the fight was like, yeah, I barely can touch the guy. He's OD. And when he got rocked by the runner, he literally said it was the most pain he's felt in ever. Uh, and obviously, Surfer, even in the 80s, has been through a lot of shit. So the fact that Runner casually like wore him out like that is ridiculous on top of this. He's also casually shown blitzing past gods and being faster than gods of speed like Mercury. And overall, because of his speed... I definitely see him being problematic for Lobo. Maybe not in a 1v1, especially Lobo peak power, but he's definitely fast enough to tag him and get out of there before Lobo could do serious damage. Next up, I got Nimrod. Nimrod's an interesting character. Think of the god form version of any of the Sentinels you have seen wiped out mutants. Armies that are completely lesser than that of nimrod himself have wiped out mutants in seconds um he has basically a counter to any power lobo would bring to the table because nimrod is literally programmed to counter any mutant ability seen before and obviously mutants in the uh, regular 616 universe have a plethora of powers all of them uh at least at one point relating to lobo like regeneration um teleporting with the bike all that super strength super speed um healing factor everything so he's gonna know all that know how to counter it and he's strong enough to ragdoll apocalypse and nearly kill wolverine with like a casual backhand and he's like completely humiliated classic juggernaut who stood up to the god blast so his ability to adapt and overcome lobo I think would make him dangerous, especially when he has people literally playing support already and helping him out. Finally, on my team to kind of rack uh, or like bring this to a close, I think this is interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and go with Heimdall. Not because I don't think Heimdall beats Lobo 101. He was able to withstand a brawl with fully confident gladiator that rocked jane foster thor like beat her up and kidnapped her uh so stupid impressive but the reason i have him here is heimdall literally sees like all of creation all of the multiverse can bend the rainbow bridge or aka the ability to teleport anywhere in the realms to his will so basically he can do it wherever and he sees it all so Lobo can't run from them. He's gonna have the ability to track down Lobo for them. Now, Runner is fast enough, I believe, personally, to keep up with Lobo anyway if he tried to run, but even if he can't, um, the tracking ability of Heimdall is what makes him dangerous. Not to mention, like I said, he can fight threats of Asgard. He is a sentinel of Asgard itself, and he swapped hands a little bit with gladiator and this was a fully confident gladiator who shits on a lot of people so overall i think with his tracking ability his magic his asgardian magic his sword and his fighting skill but in particular his tracking ability i think he helps seal the deal for the team i just think he's key to honing in on lobo and making sure he doesn't have time to get away and come up with a plan to take these boys out but anyways guys that's it for the video who would your team be to take down the infamous lobo from dc comics one of my favorite characters ever it was really fun coming up with a team that wasn't really stronger than him or too overpowered but was strong enough and potent enough with the hacks and abilities to eventually wear him down and defeat him in the end i believe the trio of runner nimrod both of them from marvel obviously and then Heimdall, the Asgardian god, I believe that trio, all of them from Marvel, can take down um, the likes of Lobo. Anyways, guys, let me know who you think. What trio would you pick? If you disagree with my trio, let me know. Let me know who you want to see. This is a chance for fans to impact the next video. You can let me know who you want to see me add to the series, but you also got to let me know why you want to see it. So don't just give me a name. 
Give me a reason why I should take them down. Anyways, it's been your boy YFE, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.